Pierre Cardin, Eau de Cologne. This is not Pierre Cardin, poor Mansour. Pierre Cardin, Eau de Cologne. Made in America. A lot of people think this is made in France, but it's not. I don't know if you can see that. It says Paris, New York, but it says made in USA, so apparently it's made in USA. Why doesn't anybody talk about this? You know something? I was looking up last night how many people has reviewed this, and I think there's three... I think there's three other fragrance reviewers that's ever talked about this. Four. I'm the fifth only fragrance reviewer that talks about stuff like this. Stuff like this, Jovan Musk, all those 70s and 80s colognes, masculine for men. <clears throat> you know, I consider myself sort of a, and along with a very few other fragrance reviewers, I consider myself a blue collar working class fragrance reviewer because most fragrance reviewers would not dare review this for some reason. I don't know why because I think this is a fantastic fragrance. But I consider myself a blue-collar working-class fragrance reviewer. Um, I don't know if I should read the notes because the notes doesn't really matter. Mm, what do you think? Should I read the notes? Okay. 1972 this was released. I was nine years old in 1972, so this has been around for quite a while. Um, lavender, orange, basil, lemon, bergamot in the top notes. Heart notes, sandalwood, leather, carnation, patchouli, geranium. Mmm, carnation and geranium. They used that a lot back in the 70s and 80s. Um, leather again in the base notes. Benzoin, oak moss, vanilla, amber, tonka bean. I love this fragrance. I consider this fragrance a combination of Paul Sebastian P.S. Fine Cologne, Obsession for Men by Calvin Klein, and Japor owned by Bougeron. It's sort of like if you mix all those together, this is what you get. This is... Beautiful, I think. I think it's beautiful. It's warm, spicy, touches of floral. I think the spiciness, the spiciness in here is very light. It's reminiscent of cinnamon, like a warm, cozy cinnamon. Um, there's not cinnamon listed in the notes, so I don't trust for Granica as far as notes goes anyway because you know 50% of the time they are incorrect on the notes I think sometimes they don't know the notes and they just make up the notes so I like for Granica as far as like reading their articles and stuff but as far as uh, the notes goes on for Granica I don't trust them anyway because I think they make this stuff up warm spicy Beautiful floral, nothing feminine. This is masculine. Um, I think this the spiciness might be coming from the geranium or carnation um, because sometimes, depending on the materials that the perfumer uses, geranium and carnation can have a, a spicy feel to it. But it does feel like a, like, almost like a, a cinnamon that's melted in butter in a pan. That's almost like what I get is so beautiful. Um, I get a lot of oak moss. Of course, this is from 1972. So you're going to get a lot of oak moss. I get uh, maybe a little bit of leather and um, basil. But basically, this is a beautiful, soft, warm, spicy, masculine touches of floral, leather, and basil. I think it's beautiful. 
like I said, I think it's a combination of Paul Sebastian, um, Obsession for Men by Calvin Klein, Japor Ohm by Bougeron, and I think it's fantastic. Um, I think... I think it smells elegant. I think it smells formal. There's nothing cheap smelling about this. It's not the most natural smelling fragrance of, by far, but it's very well blended to me. If I've never tried this, if I've never ever tried this and you sprayed it on me, I would be like, this smells good. This is a mm, medium, not high-end or low-end, but sort of medium designer fragrance. That's what I would think. Um, a lot of people classify this as uh, old school or old mannish. I don't think of it. I don't think of it that way. I don't think of fragrances from the 70s or 80s. I don't like to classify them as old school. I like to classify them as fragrances from a different time. That's how I look at it. But I love this fragrance. Formal, elegant smelling. It doesn't smell cheap whatsoever. Um, and I just love it. I wore it for the last two days for work and people are, I've gotten a lot of compliments for this. Um, the longevity on this is only like five hours. Um, so what I do is what I do a lot of times for the last couple of years, if I know a fragrance is not going to last me a whole shift, I'll make up a 5 mil decant before I go to bed and if I want to wear it the next day and all I have to do, like for instance, I wore this for today and it started fading really quick after like 5 hours. So what I did was went to the bathroom and just took my decant that I made up the night before and put it on and it lasted another five hours. And there was several people that walked by me today and they were like, what are you wearing that smells really good? And I'm like, Paul's, or, uh, Pierre Cardin. And they're like, I've never heard of that. And I'm like, yep, I figured you probably never heard of it because a lot of people don't, um, unless you're, you know, 40, 50, 60 years old and you're a man because um, every time I wear this, it takes me back to like the seventies because 50% of the men back in the seventies wore this Pierre Cardin Eau de Cologne. So every time I smell this, I was like, God, that reminds me of when I was a little kid. And, uh, because most men wore this and you would smell it everywhere you go. You would smell it at your house, you would smell it at gas stations, you would smell it in grocery stores, you would smell it in drug stores, it was everywhere. Um, so every time I wear this, it's like really nostalgic. Um, but I highly recommend it. I think it's a great fragrance. And this is a humongous bottle. Look at this box. This box is like this bigger in my head almost. This is eight fluid ounces. This is like 230 something mils. And I think you can still get this for like 15 or $20 for eight fluid ounces. This is more than twice as much. This is like two and a half times as much as like your regular, you know, 100 mil bottle. So I highly recommend it. I love warm and spicy fragrances with touches of floral that's masculine. That's up my alley right there. So I'll put a link in the description if you're interested. And, um... I love you guys. Be back later. Peace. Peace. Peace.